sing that shit. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I release a video. So today, I'm going to be using this particular reference for a stylized painting. I got this reference from Pinterest. So I got this um, reference from Pinterest. So it's not my picture. Just in case, I'm going to be sued. <laughs> So please don't sue me. This is not my picture. I just got this reference from um, from Pinterest. So well, I've already done my sketch. I've already done my stylized sketch. This is not a realistic paint. A realistic um, drawing is more like a stylized realistic drawing. So as you can see, the eyes is bigger compared to the reference so that's how i want it to be so all we're going to do is create a new layer what we're going to be doing is create a new layer for the mid tune so we're going to be picking the color the mid tune from the reference we're going to be picking the mid tune color from the reference so what i'm but i'm doing presently i'm trying to split the photo into two because i'm using an android phone so because I don't have space and to save me the stress of owning the layer and offing the layer in order to see the reference so that's why I make it a little bit small and make it um, at the top of my drawing and at the, at the um, down at the down so so that I can see on both sides so that it will not cover my drawings so that I'll have to see what I'm drawing so that's why I took it I took it up for easy sight so what I'm presently doing I'm picking out the color I'm picking up the color from the reference so these particular colors I'm picking they are going to be used for the detailing I'm going to be using it for the detailing for the detailing or I can also call it shading I'm going to be using it for the shading but presently I'm just picking it up so I don't forget about it So after you finished picking out your color and your color palette, so you're going to be using the base color and filling it up. Make sure you fill it up very well and make sure it's not outside, it doesn't go outside the line your line at. So make sure you fill it perfectly. So after filling up your base color, of course, the next step is going to be picking up, um, picking up the colors on the face and um, picking them up and painting them on your on your painting on your drawing. So you're going to be picking out the colors from the reference and representing it back to replacing it back. Sorry, to your drawing. So that's what I'm I'm doing. So when you're good in color, you mustn't you mustn't pick them all from the reference. You can 
like you can go to your your color um what will i see where your colors are you can just be adjusting it from male looking of of the skin you can you can determine what kind of color will suit the particular reference so that's what i'm trying to explain so that's that's pretty much what we're going to be doing now so i'm going to be picking up all the colors on the face you mustn't do exactly what i'm doing you can just depends on how you how good you are you can just be picking selecting some colors and leave the others you mustn't select all you mustn't cop uh, mustn't pick all the colors on the face or on the body you can just like how i'm doing you can just roughly pick some colors that are useful on the skin that will bring up the color the, the skin tone so i'm going to be dropping the list of brushes i used for this video so you can go to the description box it's already there you can go check it out so So guys, in case you've been wondering what kind of brush am I using for the the picking out of the color, um, I use brush 4 for picking up the colors, brush 4, so, and also I use um, the blending tool, the blending brush for the blending of the colors, making it smooth. I use the, bl the blending tool for making the color smooth so some people were complaining that they don't have the blending tool in their sketchbook so the advice I'm going to give you is you use you should use your your smudge tool you should use your smudge brush for the blending I'm going to be showing you this smudge brush right now so you just check it out smudge round bristol brush so that's the brush you're going to be using for your smudging for your um, blending so all you're going to do is just <laughs>
so guys i'm done with the blending the next thing i'm gonna be doing is um detailing so you're going to add the new layer then select your soft airbrush or your art your hard airbrush anyone you prefer it depends on the thickness and the darkness of the area you're going to be detailing so some people were asking me how this detailing is done so i'm going to be explaining it right now so make sure you create a new layer and make sure it's at the top of your already blended colors so you're going to be picking colors directly from the skin of your reference then you're going to be painting them like giving them a specific light or it's just it's more like shading it's more like highlighting and shading at the same time so that's why it's called detailing so you're going to be giving the in-depth um, shadows and lightning on the face we are going to be using one layer for this particular stuff so make sure you check your reference thoroughly so that your reference will the shadow of your reference will correspond with your your painting your drawing so this is pretty much what the detailing is all about so just keep watching i'm going to be skipping some places because the video is very 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 long so just keep checking the useful details on the face the important things you need to put in your drawings as you can see i'm adding some shadows there in order to give the resemblance the give the drawing some resemblance so that's it
so guys if you think you are not good in picking out colors so after picking out your combo you can use it also for your detailing make sure the color corresponds with your skin color then you're good to go right depends on how good you are and how creative you are you can also use your color combo for the shading or for the detailing so that's it
that will correspond with your skin texturing so i'm going to be using over um sorry i'm going to be using soft light i think soft light is going to give me what i need i want for my particular drawing and detailing so as you can see i'm i've used the soft light and it's pretty good it brings out the skin texture on the skin this texture on the skin those black dots so after doing that we're going to be creating a new layer for another detailing so you just be playing around it you just make you try your possible best to make it look more realistic and more detailed just you can just play around with your brushes so I'm going to be using the sparkled brush for the will I say acne, acne or pimple I don't know what's on her face you can check the reference you can see um, probably acne or so so I'm going to be applying those those to our faces to our face sorry I'm going to be applying them to, the, to our face so you can clean up some places that doesn't look right so after doing that you can also do some soft glows to pop out some sides and make it more more shiny and glowy so this is the end of this video thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel and comment down below whatever thing you want me to do as a tutorial anywhere you're having issues or difficulty you can comment down below thanks for watching bye